Get-rich-quick schemes almost never work, but that doesn't stop people from trying. Like the charming band of thieves at the center of this 1951 English comedy caper. And you can watch it for free on the new free streaming app, Momitu. From director Charles Crichton, this is the Lavender Hill Mob. I'm Harry Marks. You can find me on TikTok at Lobby Intros as the host of the classic film history channel, Let's All Go to the Lobby. The Lavender Hill Mob stars Sir Alec Guinness as a simple banker overseeing deliveries of gold bullion to his place of work. But behind the scenes, he's been orchestrating a plan to steal some of that gold and sell it. That's where businessman Alfred Pendlebury, played by Stanley Holloway, comes in. Pendlebury happens to own a foundry that makes souvenirs sold all over the world. So the pair enlist the help of two other thieves to swipe the gold, melt it down into statues of the Eiffel Tower, and sell them in Paris. The Lavender Hill Mob was the work of writer T.E.B. Clark, who had been hired by studio head Michael Balkin to come up with another crime film to follow up the success of his previous hit, The Blue Lamp. Clark, who was also working on Pool of London, a crime noir about a jewel heist, came up with a scenario where a banker might rob his own bank. But rather than rely on his imagination in order to plot the robbery, Clark and Ealing Studios decided to ask the Bank of England directly how someone might pull off such a theft. So the bank formed a committee to, well, plan their own robbery. And that plan was what Clark eventually wrote into the film. The Lavender Hill Mob is a film full of yet-to-be legends, including Guinness, who would go on to play the iconic role of Obi-Wan Kenobi in Star Wars 26 years later. You might also spot certain actors in smaller roles, like the uncredited Desmond Llewellyn as a customs official. Llewellyn famously played James Bond's gadget-dispensing quartermaster Q for over 35 years. And this film is also widely considered to be the first appearance of Audrey Hepburn in a major motion picture. She'd had smaller roles in smaller films before this. Thirteen years after the Lavender Hill Mob's debut, Hepburn and Holloway would reunite as father and daughter in the 1964 musical hit My Fair Lady. And finally, there's cinematographer Douglas Slocum, who worked on a number of films for Ealing Studios. He later went on to lend his keen eye to another famous heist movie, 1969's The Italian Job, starring Michael Caine. But he's perhaps best remembered for his work with Steven Spielberg on Close Encounters of the Third Kind, as well as the first three Indiana Jones films. The Lavender Hill Mob was a hit with English audiences and American critics. It even won the Academy Award for Best Writing, Story, and Screenplay. And Guinness was nominated for Best Actor as well, not something often seen at the time for international films. But it was also an important film for England. Made a handful of years after the end of World War II, The Lavender Hill Mob portrays a London that is still getting back on its feet, with numerous ruins and rebuilding efforts on clear display throughout its runtime. And so here it is, starring Alec Guinness and Stanley Holloway, from Charles Crichton and Ealing Studios, this is 1951's The Lavender Hill Mob, now playing for free on Momitu.